Hello my fellow gerbil lovers and welcome back to the gerbil vine. Thank you all so much for being here today and for watching this video. So today is actually a bit of a fun video. I recently did a small supply haul for my gerbils. So I've got a lot of stuff to show you today. Everything from bedding to toys to treats to um, a bunch of random other little objects. So let's jump into it. So I guess we can start with the most boring stuff first, which to me anyways would be the bedding. So PetSmart recently rebranded their All Living Things line to a new brand called Full Cheeks. So a lot of this stuff is just rebranded, but they did come out with a lot of new items too, some of which I have here today. But for the bedding, it's basically the same thing. Thing as the All Living Things brand and this is what it looks like. This one is pink and white and it is called Candy Delight. Super cute, unscented, just plain paper bedding. So I got two of the pink and white ones and we've got two of these ones. This one is the Confetti Party and two of these ones. This color is Lakeside. Moving on to some of the other stuff that I got. I got them this 10 pound bag of Exoterra Desert Sand. This is just the yellow color. I really like the red color but I haven't seen it in stock in a while. This sand is a great sand. It is minimal dust. It's 100% natural so really really great for them. So the next item that I got, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to use it, which is a horrible reason to buy something. However, this item was usually around $30 and it was on clearance for $4. And it is this little small pet carrier. Super cute. It is a fabric carrier. It does feel like a really thick fabric and it feels like it's got some cardboard in it and then just like this nylon material. So for $4, like you can't really beat that price. So... We've got it. Not sure if I'm going to use it yet. The next item that we got is one that I'm going to be using in their playpen. Um, and that is going to be this Oxbow Enriched Life Customizable Play Place. It looks really cool. It's just like this cardboard maze thing, which I guess technically people could make themselves. And I'm sure people have made them themselves. Accessories are not included, like the little dangle stick here and um, this little thing. I know if I put it in their tank, it would be shredded. And this thing was a little bit pricey at almost $30. So I'm going to keep it for a little bit, I think. Use it in their playpen. Just sort of something enriching for them to be able to do and be able to use. I was really, really excited to see this because the Oxbow Enriched Life is just an overall really, really great brand of stuff. Alright, so we've only got a couple things left in the video to show you. This one is just a Living World tunnel. It's the medium size, I believe. This one was also on clearance. This tunnel only cost me $5. Uh, regularly, they're like double that. So really excited about that. And this one is the bigger size, which is cool because it looks like two of them could like squish in here at the same time. The second one I got, which you guys would have seen in my gerbil package that I sent to the UK, and it's this Full Cheeks Tunnel and Hideaway. Super cool. It's got these little cutouts there, two entrances, and it's made with rice glue. This is an even larger one. These ones I'll likely end up putting in their tank clean rather than their playpen. So I got this. This is so cute, you guys. It's the Full Cheeks Fun House Hideaway and Hay Holder. Um, and again, this product is dyed using vegetable juice. You can tell by how faded the colors are on here. They're not super bright. I think they're going to love it. It's going to give them somewhere new to hide and somewhere new to explore when they're in their playpen. I think it's a really, really good sign that the brand is coming out with more stuff like this where it's just like more natural and wooden, not plastic. They did come out with a couple of plastic hides, but it was really nice to see something like this. For the toys, I have a little applewood dangly stick. It does have some rope on it. This rope shouldn't be a problem if it's just a hanging toy. I may end up putting it in their playpen so then I can actually monitor them with the rope which might be better because you never want to put any sort of rope or string in your gerbils enclosure with them because it's you're not able to watch them the entire time and the little fibers can get wrapped around their feet or if they are ingested they won't be able to properly break them down or you risk them wrapping around an intestine an organ or even causing a blockage and then we've got this full cheeks colorful tassel chew it's woven rattan and paper Oh, I know you love this one. So it's just this really cool, crinkly, fun toy. Um, this is just like the rotten material and, and this is just paper. And again, these are dyed using vegetable juice. I don't know if you can see, but the colors look a little bit faded than um, what you would normally expect it to be if it was dyed with like food grade coloring. So love that, love that for the brand. And this is one of the items that was just rebranded. So I do know that they already like this toy because they've had it before in the past. So the next thing that I got for the gerbils is this. Brown's Tropical Carnival bag of Timothy Hay. This is a new item I saw at my store a couple weeks ago and I wanted to try it out just because like I'm always trying out new brands of hay for the gerbils just to see what works well. Timothy Hay isn't always their favorite but it was new so I thought hey why not check it out. This bag is so big next to you. 
is so big next to you. I will let you guys know what I think about it when I use it in my next tank clean. The next item that I got is just the same rot and mouse palette diet that I used when I mix it in with their homemade dribble seed mix. Nothing special about it. It is rebranded um, to the Full Cheeks brand from the All Living Things, so it looks a little bit different, but as far as I can tell, the formula is exactly the same as it was. I gotta go find a picture of um, the other one that I had just to compare it, but I'm pretty sure that it's the same just at first glance. The next thing that I have is this Full Cheeks Carbon Filter Water Bottle. Uh, quite large, it is plastic. It has this little pin here that they push, so I'll have to try it out with them to see if they can actually use that. I'm gonna leave the other one in their tank just to make sure. And then it has a little spot in there for a carbon filter which I think is great, and got the little refill packs here. So it basically just helps to keep the water fresher and cleaner, and I think that that's a cool new invention. I mean, I use filters with my cat's water bowl. They have a fountain um, to drink out of, so I think that this is really great. So the last couple of items I got are just a couple of treats. So I ended up getting the Living World Green um, Coconut Chews, just because I was really curious about them and whether or not the gerbils would like them. So they didn't want to take them from my hands, but um, when I put them in the tank, they stole them and ran away to go hide and nibble them. So I say these are a win. I need more jars. <laughs> these little dried peas and carrots are super safe and natural for your gerbils. Jerry's personal favorite, which are the uh, sweet potato bites. Only ingredient is sweet potato. He absolutely loves these. His brother is not a fan of these, however, so most of these will be for Jerry. And then finally, we've just got a small pack of hibiscus petals. It's literally just dried hibiscus. So I just add this in with whatever other forage salad that I use at the time, and it's usually good to go. So the last item that I want to show you guys today is an item that I got for their playpen. Um, it's just a second wheel. It's not the Night Angel wheel. I'm actually having some trouble with this wheel lately, if I'm being honest, which is crazy because I spent so much money on it, but it's like the dribbles run on it, and it just sounds like really loud. Like if I spin it, by itself it is completely like dead silent like really really good but as soon as they're running on it it sounds like like just really loud the wheel doesn't sound silent to me um so i'm not sure if i'm gonna put the new wheel in their tank and then put this wheel in their free roam space i haven't decided yet but this is the <laughs> new wheel this is a 12 inch wheel it is the full cheeks um 12 inch silent exercise wheel it seems extremely silent so I'm not too sure because I really worry about like the plastic base, like it is a thinner plastic. So I'm scared if I leave this in their tank, they're going to actually chew it. Whereas the Night Angel one is like a thicker acrylic. So I'm probably just going to keep this in their playpen. But guys, I really need to figure something out with that wheel. Drop me a comment down below and let me know if any of you have this Night Angel wheel, if you've noticed that it gets super loud after a while um, when your gerbils are running on it. I'm really curious to know. I mean, like, for what I paid for that wheel, it shouldn't be making any noise for, like, the next five years. So, anyway, this wheel is super big. If you don't know, I advise gerbils to use anywhere from a 9 to 12-inch wheel. Um, this is a 12-inch wheel. The one in there now is an 11-inch wheel. They outgrew their 9-inch wheel within the first year of their life, and that's why I ended up upgrading. This might look super big for your gerbils, but you would be surprised that they would actually be able to run in it with no problem. And this was actually the only wheel that I saw at PetSmart that was appropriately sized for gerbils as of now. Um, it's really, really silly. I mean, this line has a well, they had. I don't know if they still have it, but so they had a 4.5-inch wheel, and then they have a six inch wheel and then they jump right to the 12 inch wheel there's no eight inch there's no nine inch there's no 10 inch to six inch to 12 inch which is just a crazy jump and most people that end up buying cages and stuff from pets they're not going to be able to fit something like this in it so i don't think that these are going to be that popular which is upsetting so it is what it is but the fact that they even sell a wheel this big is really really awesome and i'm excited to show you guys what they look like using it in their free room space so thank you all so much for watching this video if you watched to the very end thank you so much the dribbles and i really really appreciate it please make sure that you like comment all that good stuff and we'll see you in our next video thank you bye